My husband and my daughter both have asthma. And when I was in training, the first patient I ever had had asthma. So those three things together uh, made me want to understand asthma, how to prevent it, how to control it. Um, and we don't really know much about prevention of asthma right now, but we do know very well how to control it. Uh, we know that by using the right medications and by creating an asthma-friendly environment, that those two things together helps control asthma. Uh, well, my husband is a, a great role model. He's had asthma his whole life. Um, and he is always very clear about taking his controller medications. I never have to remind him to do that. Um, and he also um, stays in good physical shape. We know that there are many uh, Olympic and uh, professional athletes who have asthma. Um, and they are able to do really amazing things and that's because they control their asthma and they stay in good shape. The first patient I had as a resident, um, she had really severe asthma. She came in and very uh, sick. We were worried that we would lose her and we didn't. I mean, fortunately she lived, but that um, really made me think about how we could prevent um, children from getting to that point, how we could control the environment, how we could give them the right medications. And knowing that this is a disease that can be controlled gave me a lot of hope that there was a way to prevent this uh, from killing children. Asthma is a chronic disease that affects your lungs. Um, in your lungs there are um, airways and in those airways it can become inflamed. The asthma symptoms include coughing, which is really common, coughing at night being the most worrisome symptom. Also wheezing, shortness of breath, uh, flaring of the nostrils, use, using your accessory muscles, your belly muscles, um, all of those are signs. Um, I believe there are many children in the inner city who are diagnosed with asthma because of a combination of poor environment both indoors and outdoors. We do know that children in the inner city who live in poor neighborhoods are more likely to live near um, factories and um, be exposed to diesel exhaust and the, all of those are triggers for asthma. In addition, they live in poor housing and the housing is uh, actually deteriorating around them and the, the common triggers include dust, mold, mice, cockroach, um, as well as tobacco smoke. And we also know that children who have more stress exposed to more violence are more likely to um, have asthma symptoms. So asthma can be controlled, and that's the good news. And the way that you control it is twofold. One is to really work with your primary care provider or your child's primary care provider to make sure they're on the right medication. The second piece, which is equally important, is really controlling the environment. Um, and then tobacco smoke, which is probably one, if, if not the biggest, one of the biggest triggers. Um, you should make your house a no smoke zone. Um, if you have, uh, family members who smoke, then help them quit smoking uh, by referring them to the quit line. If they are not ready to quit smoking, then they need to smoke outside. And when they come inside, they need to remove their outer clothing because we know that smoke travels on the, on the clothes of the smoker. And then secondly, uh, when you think about cockroach and pests such as mice, um, Keeping your trash uh, can closed at all times, especially at night, and when you can, uh, put it out in the uh, put it outside the house at night. Washing the baseboards of your kitchen uh, every week with hot water also takes away some of the allergens that we see from the cockroaches. Any holes filling that in with caulk um, prevents uh, mice and other pests from getting in. And then if you can't afford it, a dehumidifier is often uh, very helpful to prevent the asthma symptoms from occurring.